ravioli, you might picture the classic cheese-filled kind, but St. Ravioli in Bloomfield is here to blow your mind. Yeah, from savory Philly cheesesteak to sweet bananas foster, mm -hmm. even a gumbo-inspired twist, St. Ravioli is really pushing the boundaries of what a ravioli can be. And here to tell us all about it and hopefully let us taste some of the creations is owner and chef <laughs> Justin Abai. So glad to have you here. Great to be here. Especially because you're going to feed us, as promised. <laughs> um, but we, we have some great things out here. But first of all, tell us a little bit about your business, how you got started. Yeah, so it, we're a ravioli, I like to tell people, a factory right there in Bloomfield in the heart of uh, Little Italy. And uh, that's what we do. We make the ravioli there by hand. We freeze them the same day that they're made, mm -hmm. box them up, and we sell them online. So every single month there's a menu that uh, you know, you can order online, you can stock up, and really it's just about getting in people's like grocery habits. You know, you put in your supermarket order, you put in your saying ravioli order, and really, you know, like we were talking about, Heather, it's that quick meal in the freezer ready yeah, to go. right. When you don't feel like cooking much, you know, you get home from a long day of work, the ravioli are there. Do. Yeah. Yep. So talk to us about some of the fillings, because we, we yeah. I mean, really, you have some creative ideas, yeah. and what do you have for us oh, yeah, to try? Yourself, yeah. Tell us about this first one, there we're going to sample. So yeah, okay. this is the wedding soup. So I actually brought three of my biggest ones because Look I'm actually doing them this month as well. This is the wedding soup ravioli, so it's actually a ravioli. David's getting a little, it's can't oh, yeah. be messy, you got to watch his suit. Okay, all right. Um, oh. But it's actually a ravioli filled with wedding soup so oh, yeah. similar to like a Chinese soup dumpling like a zhong oh. bao that's it's... where I really got the idea from and there I never had heard of like a soup dumpling in Italian mm -hmm. cuisine so mm -hmm. I was like you know learned how they do it what they use to make that soup dumpling and I was like I can incorporate this into ravioli and wedding soup works so perfect yeah this is so fantastic wonderful. oh I love this mm. all right so what yeah. else do you have for us so, here? <laughs> wedding soup's one of my bigger ones and then quattro formaggi this is like my signature just cheese filling. Mm -hmm. So this one here, mm. I don't have separate plates if you guys don't mind sharing. We don't mind. Yeah. We share all the time. <laughs> so this is the Quattro Formaggi and Bolognese sauce, right, which is a this. Italian meat sauce. Mm. Um, goat cheese is really the star of this one. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? Goat cheese, <laughs> herb and garlic goat cheese. It's one of my favorite cheeses. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes everything better. You know, while we're trying this, I want to ask about the name mm -hmm. of your place yeah. because there's actually a, a meaning behind it and, and you sure. guys do some special work, right? Yeah, I mean, the name came as a joke from a buddy of mine uh, during <laughs> the pandemic. He jokingly called me Saint Ravioli because I was just on my personal Instagram making the ravioli and like anybody out of work during the restaurant, you know, mm -hmm. shut down during the pandemic, like could come and get ravioli. So he called me it jokingly and we both were like, whoa. Mm. That might be a really good name. Yeah. So we kind of, and I like it too because, like you were saying, David, it, it keeps in mind the like altruistic spirit of this mm. of this company, trying to make sure we give back. Every <laughs> single uh, Christmas, we give uh, we we have a uh, basket for the. Uh, Women's uh, Shelter in Pittsburgh, where we raise money for that. And then also uh, we do Greyhound rescue work. So I had a Greyhound that, uh, you know, passed a few years oh, ago. Wow. So Aww. we always want to have like a, a, a charity charitable. right? Arm to pay it ravioli. forward, really. Yeah, yeah that's great. And, not... and Heather keeps taking the plate away oh, because these are so <laughs> good. <laughs> one for you. So wait, what is this one? This is wait, the, yeah. <laughs> I'm in charge of this plate, okay? <laughs> this one's a new one I started doing this year, really long overdue, but it's become one of our biggest sellers is the Barada ravioli alla oh. vodka. So oh. it's burrata and ricotta and parmesan inside. Mm -hmm. Vodka sauce made with Lawrenceville mm. distillings, park and chair vodka. So wow. keeping it Pittsburgh as much as we can really. Yeah. You know, a lot of these vegetables oh. and stuff here from my friend Gina over at the green mm. market there in Bloomfield. So um, Nick over at Sausalito, I got his uh, seasonings that I use. So really it's about that communal element and Bloomfield's so the best neighborhood for it. I know you said that you freeze your ravioli and then people can order them. Mm -hmm. Are they mm -hmm. also ordering the sauce as well? Is yes. that how it works? Yes. Okay, great. Some come as a combo, like that burrata ravioli mm. is a combo. You get vodka sauce with it. The quattro doesn't come with bolognese. I always recommend it. That's right. my favorite combo. Right. But you so can do good. whatever. You could do marinara there if you don't <clears> eat meat. You know, pesto. Chef, this is just fantastic. Thank you. This is the best way to start our Friday. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, all three of these are fantastic. Thank you so much for visiting mm -hmm. and feeding Thank us. You mm. A fellow Absolutely. Armstrong County native. Mm. Yep. All right, again, St. Ravioli has a location in Bloomfield, kind of a ravioli factory, mm -hmm. and you have to pre-order ahead of time. Are, can you talk or are you full? I'm good. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Dinner on the table. Tonight, you have to do this. They're so good. Head to our website, oh, Pittsburgh Sunday, Sunday, there's going to be a sale. Sunday at noon. Sunday at noon. October, you heard it here. October menu.
All right, that's when the October menu comes out. Head to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com, for a link to all things St. Ravioli and to check out the new menu. All right.